How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today, I just kind of wanted to do a quick little video about something that I've kind of noticed when it comes to building your own kind of vintage motorcycle. Um, and that's what exactly makes a cafe racer. Because a lot of people online, um, when somebody posts their bike or something, um, a lot of people will argue about what the classification of bike it is. So um, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what I think makes a bike a cafe racer. So I think right now in the vintage motorcycle scene, you can really break down all the kinds of bikes into five groups. And those are cafe racer, brat bike, bobber, scramblers, and trackers. Now the first thing I want to say right from the get-go is these exist on a spectrum. So most of the bikes you're seeing are probably not going to be 100% in one of those categories. They're, they're going to have styling cues and design elements that are kind of in between all of the different groups. So um, yeah, usually you're not going to see one that's like a pure cafe racer or a pure scrambler. So when I think of a cafe racer, I think of the bikes that are styled after the 60s Grand Prix bikes. So that means fairings, that means low handlebars, that means dialed in suspension, that means a single person seat and just lightweight, agile, good handling bike. That's basically what a cafe racer means to me. Now if we look at more of a brat bike like my Honda CB650 that we have back here. By the way, if you haven't checked out any of the videos that I've done on this bike, definitely check them out. I'll link them up here. Um, but if we look at one of these bikes, um, this is more of a brat style. So this is going to be kind of the most similar, I think, on the spectrum to the Cafe Racer. And I think they get kind of melded together a lot. They're still going for a lightweight design, but I think in a more minimal way. So with brat bikes, you're probably not going to have the big fairing fenders like you would on Grand Prix bikes or cafe racers. But with a brat bike, you would be taking off any parts that are unnecessary for the functioning of the bike, so saving as much weight as possible, just not going for aerodynamics or racing purposes, really. So some other things you might see on a brat bike are maybe not so low of handlebars, so maybe the person just left the stock handlebars, like I have right here, um, or you might just put on flat bars, but not really the low clip-on style bars. Also, you might see chopped fenders. That's something a lot of people do on brat style bikes, as well as lowered suspension, because typically that's one of the key things of brat bikes is being a low bike. So yeah, basically just a bike that's low, mean, and clean. That's basically how I define a brat bike. So right now, I would say this bike is pretty close to being 100% in the brat style category of bike. It's got higher up handlebars, it's got chopped fenders, it's got a flat seat, um, but it doesn't really have any of those like fairings or anything like that. The suspension's not dialed in yet, um, but yeah, it's basically, it's, it's almost completely brat style. Um, other than the headlight, which I think is actually kind of a scrambler sort of look, but um, that's, that's a whole other deal. And hopefully soon in the future, once I get some parts in the mail, this bike will start looking a little bit more like a cross between the Cafe Racer and the Brat style bikes. I'm probably going to put lower handlebars, maybe a small fairing, um, and I'm definitely going to leave the side fairings too, because I think that's a really clean look, and that's probably more of a Cafe Racer style. So at the end of the day, basically, I would say that all of these kind of categories of vintage bikes are very loose in terms of their definitions. So basically take it as you want and don't feel like you have to stick 100% to a certain style and don't worry about what other people think of your bike because really it's, it's your motorcycle, so build what you want. So that's really all I have for today's video, just a little quick kind of talk for you guys. Um, if you haven't checked out any of the Budget Brat Cafe build videos that I've done on this bike, definitely go check those out because I really like to see what you guys have to say about it. Um, also, pick up an Enjoy the Road shirt if you haven't already, and make sure to subscribe for more videos. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, enjoy the road.